Hello everyone and welcome back to another Filmora tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can pan and zoom within your video and images. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up the Filmora application and once you have created a new project, you can add any of your desired clips onto your timeline. I'm just going to use a stock footage as an example. After clicking and dragging it, you can drop it to your timeline on your desired position. Now, if you wish to create a pan and zoom effect, there are two ways to do this. The first option, just click on your video layer and you will find the crop option just above the video layer section. You can also use the Alt C shortcut and this will open the crop menu. Now at the top, go ahead and click on pan and zoom and this will now give you the start point and end point. If you would like to zoom in, this is the mode that you want to use. Just align your frame to choose your desired start point. In this case, I'm going to use the entire frame. Then click on the end point box. And once your endpoint box is selected, once again, you can use the rectangle to adjust the section that you would like to have displayed at the end. Now you can just click on the apply button. And now when you play back your video, you will notice that it starts to zoom in. This is one technique that you can use to zoom into your clips without keyframing. From the same crop menu, you can also zoom out. Look at the bottom right corner and then choose the second option, which says from near to far. When you choose this, the start point will now appear on the inside. You can adjust your start point and now when you apply, this will zoom out on your video. Now, when you are setting your pan and zoom option, the distance between the start and the end point will determine how drastic the zoom will be. If the distance is a lot more, it will result in a more drastical zoom. Alternatively, if the distance is reduced as it was beforehand, then the zoom duration will decrease. From the same menu, you can also pan from the left to right and using the start and end boxes, you can manually set the canvas as well as the direction of your pan. Now, alternatively, you can use the keyframing option. With the video clip selected, click on the arrow button above where it says more features. You will now see the keyframing button. Go ahead and click on it. And now you will notice a small triangle appear just at the point where your vertical bar is located. This will now be your first keyframe. Now move the vertical bar to your end point and then add another keyframe using the same method. This will now add another diamond shape indicator. Now choose the first location and adjust your video's zoom level. And now go to the second location and adjust your zoom to your desired level. Once this is done, check your playback and the video should now start to pan and zoom based on your arrangement between the two keyframes. Now, if you reduce the distance between the keyframes, the zoom or pan effect will be much quicker. And similarly, if you increase the distance, then the zoom or pan effect will be much slower. And by using the keyframing method or the crop section, you can pan and zoom within your footages and images easily. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to pan and zoom within your clips on the Filmora app. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more useful tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.